Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm Osher Foss. My name is Tom. And today we're going to react and review the new trailer for the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse. It's animated entirely, separate from the MCU. Mm -hmm. um, this is like a longer trailer. I'm just calling it, It's the second trailer, but they're calling it the official trailer because the first one said the, the teaser trailer, even though it was like two minutes long. I think that's the pattern of trailers now. They like to call the actual first one the teaser, then the longer one the official one. It's weird. They didn't really do that with Incredibles. They just kind of did like a teaser and they advertise it as like an official trailer. Yeah. And that was like an actual teaser. Yeah, it was like a few seconds long, so it was like the opposite for there. But, alright, without further ado, let's dive into it. Miles, yeah, gotta go! If you want me to drive you, we gotta go now. Okay. I'll walk. Personal chauffeur going on. It's okay. <laughs> Seriously, Dad, walking would have been fine. Breaking news, Spider-Man. <laughs> I feel like I'm really your glasses on. This guy yeah. Once a day, zip zaps up, man. So no. Accountability. Speed, speed up. I know these kids. Come off, man. You get arrested? Guys, don't <laughs> cops run red lights? Well, yeah, some do. But, uh, not your dad. In your universe, there's only one Spider-Man. But there is another universe. It looks and sounds like yours, but it's not. My name's Miles Morales. So the, oh yeah, the screen goblin. Hey kid. I'll take goblin. You're like me. Ow. I knew my day would come around this time. I know it's complicated. Just say the so free. I really like how this looks. Yeah. I can teach you to be Spider-Man. Mm, I love this burger. So delicious. Mm. I like the, the best style. I've ever had. Yeah. You have money, right? I'm not very liquid right now. I think you're gonna be a bad teacher. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. One thing I know for sure, don't do it like me. Do it like you. Brooklyn! <laughs> <laughs> You're dropping me off at school. Love you, Dad. Look at this place. Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. That's a copy. Time to swing, just like I taught you. When did you teach me that? I didn't. It's a little joke. The team building. Hey guys. Okay, who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. Come on. Well, that animation was a little rough. Same as the Comic Con. What's Comic Con? Let's go. I really like that. Yeah. All right. We so, have old man Peter Parker. Yeah, he sounds familiar. I wonder who voices him. I don't know. I should look that up, actually. He looks a little fat. It's Jake Johnson. Who? From uh, he voice he's played he plays Nick and New Girl. I love that man. He's voicing Spider Man. He's actually, actually that makes a lot more sense. Just like how that how that Peter is acting yeah. is just how, like how Nick acts in New Girl. That's just old man Peter. It's it's so good though. I like how their own Google they put just leaves both of them as Spider Man. There's there's, yeah. like, there's no deviation. Yeah, Spider Man and Spider Man. Or they put like Spider Man then White Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> the three D kind of filter they put on the background is kind of weird. Yeah. But I like the comic patterns. Like see you see like how right here yeah. the cop car. It's like a uh, Telltale game. Yeah, I love that. It's just such a good aesthetic and like I think that really separates itself just from a lot of animated movies. Mm -hmm. Like it's embracing the comic book aspect of it. And I love how Miles looks here. So I feel like when Miles Morales was introduced in 2000, was it nine? He had like just a simple uh, like fade. Yeah, he had like a buzz cut kinda. Yeah. But here he has more of like a modern day African American hair, mm -hmm. like the afro. Yo Miles, you got arrested? <laughs> <laughs> Like, some people may see that as, like, oh, they're not pandering, but, like, oh, they're calling out, like, uh, stereotypes for society, but... His dad's a cop, and he's black. Yeah. That's not really a stereotype. I mean, it's kind of a trope. Uh, I do like that they put Ultimate Goblin instead of the uh, traditional Green Goblin. Because um, I, I remember this Goblin from a video game. I can't remember which one. But then he also started appearing in the cartoons more. Uh, are you familiar with Ultimate Goblin? No. Yeah, so in the Ultimate Comics... 
uh, when Norman becomes Green Goblin, instead of like the suit and everything, he becomes like an actual mutated monster goblin. And he has like the hair piece on top still. That's just cool. But I really, and also I wonder how much they're gonna go back between Miles, uh, Miles' reality and Peter, or Peter's and just the other realities because there's that scene with his parents and that, that seems like it could be from the beginning. Also, it looks like actually some serious shit went down. <laughs> Yeah. The fact that he's just hugging him, so I wonder if it's like he went to a different reality, then he came back, and he's just really yeah. back, or did something like traumatic happen? Did the character die, or did Peter die? Possibly. I feel like that'd be a good twist. He just looks like an old man. <laughs> he like, does. Yeah. He's all hunched over. He has like the five o'clock shadow. He's definitely a more experienced Spider-Man. Like he goes from like Spider-Man in one scene, and he's just like hunched over, like <laughs> all right, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that three D background's gonna bug me. Because it, it's clearly just the aesthetic of it. Yeah. But... I think it's just done to, like, separate the foreground from the background, mm -hmm. but... I like, I, it's, you it's a unique style, but to me, it, it just bothers me. But it doesn't it doesn't really degrade it or anything. <laughs> also, like, how this pissed off work girl looks here, like, you're here every fucking day. Yo, is that Cat Williams? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that's that's alternate reality Cat Williams, where yeah. he, did, he wasn't a, a successful stand-up comedian. And he just started taking steroids. <laughs> it looked like he got fatter, if anything. Yeah, it looks a lot like Peter's suit in Homecoming. Mm -hmm. Like his hot homemade suit. So I wonder I wonder if he already has the black and red suit in the beginning of the film, or is this the film he has in the opening? Yeah. And then he gets the red and black suit. I feel like it'd be both powerful, not just for the audience, but for Miles himself if Peter did die. So maybe this fight during with Ultimate Goblin is how he dies. Because they, they have like, the mentor thing going on. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is an alternate reality this bad right here. Maybe that will be a reality where Miles died instead of uh, Peter dying. Because I know once uh, in the comics, uh, Peter dies and then Miles takes over. So maybe that's just a flip around. Well, we're just going off into like completely, they could be completely unrelated shots. And this could be Miles' reality, but maybe that's what entertained the notion of this being a reality where Miles died and is that kind of like resents Spider-Man for it and that's why Miles here is treated a lot more aggressively and he's getting arrested actually, but... And then he like fades away so that might be him switching. Oh, yeah. And just uh, imagining oh. in like 10 years when they're like, hey, we're ready to do a Miles Morales movie and then like Tom Holland just looks like old. <laughs> he looks he's good. got like the five o'clock shadow, he's like, oh, listen, kid. <laughs> I feel like the MCU will last that long, though. Like, it I probably will. Where kids will be like, wow, like, I'm a grown-ass adult and I grew up with, with Tom Holland and now he's passing the torch on this guy. Yeah, can and we, we have can, can we go back to, like, her, like, jumping, though? Because, like, hey guys. I don't know, it just looks off to I'm me. Friends. I feel like just, like, the animation of this movie is, like, sometimes it looks choppy on purpose. Yeah. Like, that's something I know, and I noticed that in the first trailer, and I pointed it out, and people are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, it just looks really, like, cutty. Yeah, I feel like that's the aesthetic of it, but like it's weird because it's like in some scenes it looks like that, in some scenes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So it kind of makes me weird for the movie because I feel like that'd be kind of jarring if sometimes they move like their acclamation. It kind of makes me feel like they didn't have like everything mastered before they started putting together trailers. Mm -hmm. Like once it comes out, that might not be a thing at all. So yeah, yeah, but it is kind of like an MMP where like it looks really fluid and sometimes with acclamation. I feel like the acclamation part is intentional, mm -hmm. like that kind of like choppy movement. Yeah. Like, this trailer seems to have, like, kind of moments like that, but in the first one, like, they It was had, the entire one? <laughs> it was the entire thing? It wasn't really, like, the entire thing, but they had, like, the one scene where it was just really bad. Where, like, he was jumping on top of the building, and, like, he was just, like, flopping everywhere, and it looked weird. I just want to see this movie, because it seems like it's not, like, anything else in animation right now, and it seems like it's not like anything else in superhero movies right yeah, now. Yeah, it's definitely like in a league of its own, Yeah, and they're taking advantage of that, and like, I think this is the first time in a while Sony has got me hyped for a Spider-Man movie, mm -hmm. because their track record uh, until Marvel took over was just kind of oof. And also, they just kept doing the same story, basically. Yeah, and also I think they know that, okay, now that our live action Spider-Man is pretty much gone. We gotta definitely put our A game in whatever else we have. Mm -hmm. And if they're doing this, and I'm all for them making more Spider-Man movies as long as like they're animated and focused on different Spider-Men. It only took Peter like 20 years, but he finally grew up. Guys, this was our reaction, our take on the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse trailer. And of course, we wanna hear your thoughts, your reactions. Did you like this trailer? Are you excited for this movie? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts to us at RoundTableVids on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we're also on Snapchat, RoundTableYT. 
If you want to help us grow, support the Roundtable on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things animation. I've been Ultra Fox. My name is Tom. And we hope you have an awesome day. Bye.